in 1975, Born to Run was Bruce Springsteen's last-ditch attempt at stardom, a Hemi-powered vehicle to transport the New Jersey musician from Asbury Park to rock and roll immortality, and it worked. Originally envisioned as a song cycle, representing a summer day from sunrise to moonrise, the album would carry Springsteen and his motley crew of beach bums around the world. The only problem was that his first two albums had been commercial flops, he was on the verge of getting dropped by Columbia Records, and he could only muster enough of a budget to record a single. Born to Run was Springsteen's first attempt to write a song with the studio in mind, not the stage. Finally able to distill his tall tales of the Jersey Shore into a compact form, the song was a creative breakthrough, setting the tone for the album to come and concisely stating one of the central questions that Springsteen would explore for the entirety of his career. I want to know if love is real. Most practically, it convinced Columbia to let him keep going. You just made a hit record, was the verdict of label president Bruce Lundvall, invited to the studio to hear the single's finished mix. Thunder Road, the album's opening track, connected to Springsteen's original Day in the Life song cycle. Channeling the optimism of a summer morning, Springsteen's harmonica is the sound of the screen door opening, Roy Bitton's breathless piano arpeggios soundtracking Mary and her companion, pulling out of here to win, taking a chance on each other. Decades later, the wistful opening chords on the harmonica can still cause a European-sized football stadium to fall silent. It's apt that the story about the E Street Band, 10th Avenue Freeze Out, resulted in one of the album's greatest legends. Working with renowned session musicians, the Brecker Brothers, Springsteen was struggling with arrangements for the horn part. Grafting in future E Street Band guitarist Miami Steve Van Zant, Springsteen's longtime friend and de facto consigliere, Van Zant told the Breckers to put their charts away and sang new parts for each player with exact timing, phrasing, and inflection. Hearing it recorded as Van Zant dictated, Springsteen responded, Time to put the boy on the payroll. Jungle Land, the album's finale, is a rock and roll West Side story, a breathtaking saga of ambition and noir grandeur. Springsteen introduces us to the Magic Rat, the Barefoot Girl, the Maximum Lawmen, the Opera on the Turnpike and the kids flashing guitars just like switchblades. The one indulgence on the record, Jungle Land runs well over nine glorious minutes, leading to what Springsteen himself called Clarence Clemens' greatest recorded moment, a sax solo for the ages. Springsteen hated Born to Run when it was finished, chucking an early acetate into a swimming pool. But decades later, in his autobiography, he acknowledged that Born to Run was the dividing line, a wild commercial success that put him on the cover of Time and Newsweek simultaneously and initiated a classic and influential period in Springsteen's songwriting. Even Springsteen would embrace the album. When he and the E Street Band played the Super Bowl in 2009, it was the source for half of their four-song medley, with the passion of Springsteen's characters standing in for the songwriter, and vice versa. Born to Run remains a high-octane rock and roll milestone. <laughs>